Well, just two rounds after coming out of retirement, Tony Elias has decided to immediately retire. Not at the end of the season, not after a couple more rounds. Nope, immediately after this, he has announced it, saying, quote, It's not about the bike or not. It's about how you feel, your brain, your heart, your thoughts, the way you push, how you brake, how you open the throttle, how aggressive you are. I'm not there anymore. And it's kind of sad. I mean, he is one of the older riders. I think he's like 40 now. But to come out of retirement, you know, have a team put a bike behind you, do all the work to make you feel comfortable on it, make it your bike, and then say, hmm, sorry, two rounds in, I'm, I'm kind of done. And it, it might be smart for him. You know, if, you, if you're not feeling comfortable, if, you, if you're not pushing like you normally would on a bike, and he hasn't been, considering he at one point was a championship contender, he won the championship in Moto America, and now he's running eighth or ninth. Like obviously, it's you're putting in all that work to finish ninth. If you're not feeling it, it's probably smarter to just quit. But it does suck to see just like somebody else leave. But I don't know. Uh, the team did say that there will be running two bikes, so somebody's gonna get his bike, which is awesome. Hopefully, they grab you know a privateer guy, put him on a quote unquote factory bike, or at least a bike with a lot of support and full data collecting and all that kind of stuff and hopefully they do well but sad to say but in the comments below i want to know do you watch moto america if so who do you root for are you sad ellis is gone are you excited that he was back whatever it is are you a suzuki guy or whatever it is just some comment down below do you watch it or are you into any super bike racing anything like that down below you know where to go like share subscribe while you're down there it really does help me out i appreciate it and with that i'll see y'all later peace